Well, the heating and the air went out again, did it? Oh, honey, deader than a doornail. Kaput! Mm. It's okay. Gina's going to get a cost for the repair, and it didn't seem to be any problem for us to have the leadership meeting here, so it's all good. Then why you seem so quiet? Ugh. I've just been doing a lot of thinking and a whole lot of talking to my father. Would that have anything to do with the tag team that you and Deacon Hall had yesterday? That? <laughs> nah, honey, I consider that sheer sport. Kind of perks up my day, you know? <laughs> no. I've just been thinking about time and how critical it is that we use it wisely for the kingdom. We all need to think about that. We do. And... I've been thinking about what an unbelievable privilege it is to be Christ's hands extended to those in need. Well, do you have something specific in mind? Joshua, so much of God's work, that which used to be done by the church, mm -hmm. has been basically taken over by the government. The more that grows, the more the church shrinks. That deserves both thought and prayer. It does. I mean, if you think about it, when folk need money, where do they go? The government, welfare. Folk need food, where do they go? The government, food stamps. Folk are sick, they don't have any money, where do they go? The government, Medicaid. Now, I understand there are those that are in real need, but my concern is a whole lot of those folk are depending more on government then they're depending on God. And those people, how will they ever hear the words of life? How will they ever have holy hands laid upon them? So Christ's healing and provisional, his providing graces flow through them. How will that ever happen? They won't. Much as they try, the government can never take the place mm -mm. of what the church was designed to do. And it was never meant to. Mm. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Yes. Are you thinking of any solution? I'm thinking of one solution for one problem. Hmm. Officer Lansky came by yesterday oh, yeah. and informed me that Terry Lands is a part of the sex trade. Oh, no. I was sick about it. Sick about it. And what made it worse is in this whole area. Joshua, there's not one single facility for her or any other girl who happens to escape the trade to be able to go to find refuge and healing. Not one. Well, I'm guessing you're thinking about doing something about that. Do you know that in this relatively small area of three cities, there are over 600 churches? No, but I can believe it. Six hundred. That's a lot of hands extended. Now just imagine if four, five, or six of them out of six hundred would get together and say, hey, let's join hands. Let's get this job done for the kingdom. For the king. Mm. What do you think about that? I vote yes. Oh, my Lord, I love you. If I could only figure a way to get you cloned. <laughs>
right. Yeah. And our father had to identify the body. I often. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's something no father should ever have to endure. That's true. Mm -hmm. He was never the same after that. Mm -hmm. And I lost my best friend. Mm -hmm. Was is past tense. What happened to him? He died. Mm -hmm. Really? And he died a broken man with a broken heart. Mm. It devastated their entire family. So, would there have been a different outcome if they had found her alive? And if the churches had come together and built a house of refuge? Mm. Look, I think it appears fairly obvious that God indeed has set this thing before us. Mm -hmm. So here's the question. Do we want to be the hands of Christ or not? Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. And I say that as mother of the church. There you go. Think of it this way, Lamar. Wouldn't it be a wonderful way to honor the memory of Jeremiah and his daughter? Wouldn't you like that? Yes, I would. Mm -hmm. And so would Jeremiah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, can we name the first house after him? Sure. Well, sure. And then we can name the other one after his daughter, Hannah. Yes. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. Since we're all in agreement now, this is what I propose. Now, Pastor McKnight's told me about y'all's family reunions, <sighs> and he says they can fill a football stadium. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. somewhere in there, there have got to be some pastors. 300 at the last one. Pastors? <laughs> no, family members. <laughs> but out of that, about a half a dozen are pastors. Okay. And the rest of them, they think that they are. <laughs> <laughs> Lordy, we know them, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Look, can you find me four or five of them? Sure. And Mary, please don't send me any fame seekers. I just want to see leaders who are willing to put the cause of Christ above their own recognition. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Is that okay? That's okay. Yeah. Then let's get busy. Let's get busy. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Lynn, realistically... Terry cannot continue to stay here. She needs more supervision than you can give. I know that. As I've said before, I can't just toss her out in the streets. I can't do that. Question. Jeepers, you and your questions. Do you know whether or not she actually wants help? I mean, really, really wants help. Really, really wants help? No, I guess I don't really know. And we do need an answer to that, don't we? Quickly. Mm. All right, I can see the wheels turning. What's going on in that little brain of yours? Well, thank you very much for referring to my brain as little. But what's going on in there is the thought that, Maddie, we absolutely cannot allow this thing to become a well-intentioned, church sloppy agape thing. <sighs> Knowledge of the sex trade is something they have not yet put in my pastoral manual. I mean, it's not listed under what do you do to take a hot meal to somebody who's homebound. No, this thing can mean life or death to anybody that's involved. Anybody. We're going to need a great, great deal of wisdom from the Holy Spirit always but also, frankly, from those mere mortals who deal with this on a regular basis. We're going to need their help. Why don't you call Mabel Green? A director of social services should certainly know how to give us some guidance. Ooh, that's a good thought. Besides, I'd say she owes you a favor or two. <laughs> that's another good thought. <laughs> Here we go. Wait a minute. I don't want to talk to her. How about you? What's she saying? Nothing? I really don't want to talk to him. Hello, this is Pastor Lynn Jenkins. Perchance, is Mabel Green available? Now play nice. A lot's on the line. Mabel! Oh, girl, this your buddy Lynn Jenkins. How you doing today? I don't 
think what she's saying scripture. Mabel, what you're <laughs> saying in scripture? What the heck's scripture? I'm not even real sure it's anatomically possible. All righty then, Mabel, payback time, girl. This is our situation. You know that girl that came to the church the other day? Well, we just found out she was a part of the sex trade, and we need your help. 